It's Laura with Jot and Tittle Vintage Type Readers. We're going to take a look at a Royal Signet today. This is an early Signet. My very first typewriter in um, that I ever bought was a Royal Signet, but it was from the 60s. Looked completely different. Was more of a travel typewriter. This is an ultra portable, um, but this is an E series from 1941, and it's very basic. So we're just going to, um, this is going to be a tutorial video for you. Um, we're going to go through it so we can take a look at it together. And um, yeah, it reminds me of the Model O and the Model B, which I really love um, both of those a lot. These have the glass keys, um, uh, but I haven't typed on it yet. So we're going to kind of look at it together. So let's start in the back. And back here, you're going to see your margins, where you can set your margins. Um, there's no tabs on this typewriter. Real basic machine. This would be good, um, a good what I call cafe writer. You can take with you if you want to, you know, go to a cafe or coffee shop and take your typewriter. This is a really good size for that. So um, let's take a look. Looks like on this one, my right margin doesn't work, but there's a bell, it sounds really good on it. And um, this one does not have a margin release and it doesn't have, um, it does have a backspace and that's about it. Like I said, it's real basic. So no tabs, no margin release on this. I'm gonna pop open the top and you can see it only has one color. So there's no color selector on it. And um, the ribbon reversal is gonna be right here on the side and you're going to see it on the other side as well so when you get to the end of your spool you just tap it and it'll reverse to the other side and you just go back and forth like that so and and then to learn how to thread your ribbon um well first of all on this one let's double check yeah so it goes around the top and then and over the top and then around and underneath. And same on this side. Uh, you just gotta make sure you get things threaded, <laughs> which I took it out and so, hang on a second, I gotta re-thread this baby. And you just have to kind of jiggle it until it pops down in there. There we go. And then make sure there's an, op usually there's a guide wire here, but instead of a guide wire, there's an opening in this metal base and so make sure that's in there. And then there's an up close photo of uh, this area right here. And you can find that photo if you click on the product listing link and you can find that and that'll help you thread it. Okay, like I said, it's got glass keys, um, beautiful. And then it's just got your regular shift and then a shift lock, which you have to press the lock and let it um, go under. There's a metal piece right here and then to unlock, you have to press down that and lift it out. Uh, other than that, that, I mean, that's about as basic as it gets. So let's thread a piece of paper. So you just set it right here, turn the handle. Make sure it comes underneath that metal bar. Let's check the, um, your paper release is this lever right here. So you can kind of adjust it if it was crooked, but it wasn't on this one and make sure it's re-engaged. Here's your return handle. It's short, so it doesn't have a lot of leverage. The longer the handle, the more leverage you have. And since this one is sh short, you're gonna have to push it pretty, um, with a little more effort than you would others. Here is your, um, okay, there's your variable spacer or your roller release right here, this front lever. So what that means is when you turn the handle, you can hear it clicking every half of a line. And sometimes you kind of, that gets in the way of things. And so you want to release that roller, adjust it, variable adjusting where exactly where you want, re-engage. 
this is going to be your line selector. Okay, yeah, there's single, and then here's double. Um, carriage release is actually only on the right side, right here. And then you have your backspace. Remember, backspace does not erase, just backspace. And then we already talked about our shift and a shift lock. That's all there is to this royal. So let's type a few lines. And in fact, if you want to stick around um, uh, and you go to the product listing link below, you'll find the demo video, which is what I'm going to start right now. Um, for the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and fade out. Thanks so much for watching and uh, you all have a blessed day.